Now in the world, we are going to go in the world of our man, Mr. Dave Mazza. Dave is the head of product and managing director at Direction. And as you come over to our website, folks, at TFNN, you're going to see the banner. You hit that banner, bring you over to the Direction site. We're going to be talking about the single stock new ETFs. Dave Mazza, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Happy to be back. Yes. Well, you know what? I'd love to talk about, you know, because realistically, no one that has been long has had a chance to, to well, I'm sure folks have gone long, but my, my point is at least we have a bounce going. So what I'd love to get, um, you know, into, Dave, is Amazon, Microsoft, Google, so you can explain to the folks, you know, you have new ETF structures here that you can get one and a half to one, which is great for, you know, Day traders, there's no doubt about that because if, if the stock's moving, folks, okay, um, bottom line, you can get one and a half to one instead of one, so you're getting a little bit more leverage. So, can you talk to us first? We got Amazon moving out here, Microsoft's moving, you know, Google's not moving that much, but do you can explain to us how these work, Dave? Yeah, so happy to do so, and um, you're absolutely right. So, these are tools like any leveraged inverse ETF that's intended for tactical trading. So, really, a day trader, someone who's interested in that, these can be in their toolkit because when you have embedded leverage, you need to be able to make that buy, sell, and hold decision very frequently and really daily. And the way they work is, if we think about uh, SPXL, right? That's yes. SP 500, three times bull fund, right. right? So you take the index, right, 500 stocks, and it, that's amplified on a daily basis. In this particular case, a trader is still transacting in the ETF, but it's at an individual security level. So to your point, um, with w whether it's uh, it's Amazon or Microsoft, we're going to have the, the common shares and offer one point times the bull exposure or one times the inverse exposure. So if I want to express a bullish view, I can look toward one of these uh, single stock ETFs to do that. Or if I want to hedge my exposure or if I don't own it and want to ex uh, directly express a negative view, I could use that inverse bear fund to do so. Yes. They, you know, it's, you know, it's really cool. What happens, folks, is that if you uh, into the, you know, the NDX 100, um, you know, I particularly like trading Microsoft and Amazon a lot. Uh, so it's really kind of cool because what happens, folks, is that when they move, they move. And in this particular case, you know, if you would bullish Amazon, you'd, you'd go into the AMZU. And you, you, first off, you can come over to our website, TFNN. Hit the button. It'll bring you to the direction. You're going to see them right there. And then with Microsoft, it's the MSFU. And with Google, it's GGLL. So, you know, this is, this is a really nice setup, particularly, you know, for folks that don't, that are not in the futures market, that want to get a little bit more leverage. And there's plenty of folks that like to buy 100 shares of Amazon and Microsoft. I mean, well, Amazon's less expensive now, so you can get more than that. But you know what I'm saying? So let me ask you, are, are you looking at more of these singles? I mean, you guys were so far ahead of the curve on, you know, the leverage in the inverses. Is this where the market's going to go with highly uh, liquid stocks? Yeah, so really our focus to date has been taking the, the top five stocks really in the NASDAQ or yes. S&P 500 in the U.S. and bringing these to market as to educate traders on how to use them appropriately and really how they work. And in many ways, as we talked about before and said today, they work exactly the same way as our other leverage universe ETFs, but you do have to recognize well, w there's a big difference. It's just a single security, not an index, whether it's an index of semiconductors, uh, small caps, what have you, but they're structured the same way. Now, we are always looking for new ideas. So um, uh, we have filed for some additional ones um, that we have not brought to market Yes. Um, on, um, uh, on some additional, like uh, NVIDIA's of the world um, uh, and the like, along with some energy uh, companies. Right now, you know, we're happy with the 10. We're seeing traders, uh, probably uh, not to surprise, really embrace the Tesla pair. That's TSLL and TSLS. But I love that, you know, you mentioned t trading Amazon and Microsoft, right? Yes. Uh, those are names that particularly today, especially Amazon on the consumer side, th that's going to keep keep moving and be a real tell, I think, of what's going on in the economy. So the, we don't. it's not just about, uh, in many ways, it's become just about Tesla and Apple, um, but you know these other these other names, your Amazons, um, your Alphabets, and your Microsoft are also really interesting for, for trading in this environment. Uh, and you know what we're looking at is 
what's con- what's spending going to be not just with the consumer but with corporations and both of those names Microsoft and Amazon massive cloud businesses which have been really powering their earnings going forward so heading into this really hugely important earnings season traders can use these products to express that view either heading into the event or again uh, say I want to be positive or if I own the stock and we've talked about this uh, before yes using the inverse, uh, so AMZU or what have you, to kind of provide that hedge for me if I'm concerned that numbers aren't going to be so great. Uh, if we're just looking at the early reporters, I think the dire scenarios of where uh, corporate earnings could come in have improved. But at the end of the day, this is going to be the slowest uh, uh, earnings growth that we've seen for the S&P 500 in some time. And I think traders have a real opportunity to be nimble here, especially with the VIX remaining as elevated as it has been. Yeah, hey Dave, you really put something great together. And it, realistically, you know what's so cool is that folks are used to the inverses, the doubles, the triples. So these are right up the alley. That's my take on it anyway. Do you know what I'm saying? They're, they're just really easy to great. understand and pretty cool. You have a great one, safe one. We look forward to speaking in two weeks from today, Dave. Thank you. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.